guys hear the train? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Excuse the messy hair, it's a little staticky and stuff. I want to do a collective reading, just a collective reading. This could be Twin Flame, this could be Starseed. I don't really want to put a label on it today because I just feel like there's messages that want to come through and we're just gonna let them come through and see what they are. Okay guys, so let's see. This card flew out the bottom here. Sacrifice, main theme of the weekend, especially with Easter, right? Huge, lots of anxiety upon splitting the deck. So this is, I would say for about half of you, experiencing some form of anxiety. For me, uh, this weekend, it was hard for me to ground. It was just hard for me to ground. Like I still grounded. I still was able to do so. I was still able to spend a lot of time outside and ground my light body to the earth while also allowing it to extend forth through the sun and traverse through time and places on the earth. But it was really hard for me to ground this weekend. I'm not going to lie. It was really hard for me to ground. So it must be the energies or something that I'm going through. So, But I do pick a lot up for the collective. So I just don't want to, you know, discount it um, as just being myself, rather. This is what I meant to say. Trusting your intuition. Oh, this is High Priestess. This is also the number two, which represents divine union or union. So this could be coming into union with a divine soul family member. This did happen for me this past weekend. I met another wonderful woman. She's a new soul family member. Um, it just clicked and that's how you know. <laughs> it's when it's just divine and it clicks like that. But um, yeah, a lot of you are coming into the confidence of trusting your own intuition, and that's really beautiful. And that's what I'm seeing here with this card with the High Priestess. What else can we get? Yeah, I was doing a lot of inner child stuff this weekend. I was painting, like I was called to paint. And I never paint. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. You guys want to see what I painted? I posted it on my Instagram. But I ended up painting a picture that I don't even know what this is. Is it going to show up? Hold on. I don't even know what this is. Someone said it was earth, water, and fire. So I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I was just zoning out and listening to music and painting. Actually, my soul sister, she, one of my soul sisters, she told me that. I painted this butterfly. <laughs> and then I painted one of my main guides. His name is Yunu. He's my Arcturian guide. And he's actually just another form of me in a higher dimension. Or an alternate dimension. So, like, meet myself in higher dimensional form. <laughs> That's my Arcturian guide, Yunu. He's awesome. He's great. Yeah, rainbow, of course, of course the rainbow. <laughs> but I just had so much fun painting. Like, look at this, like how much fun. And the light codes, they just came through and oh, it was so much fun. And then I danced, I danced like almost all day today. I was doing light language transmissions, activations. Some I recorded, some I didn't. Some I kept, you know, just for myself to, to intake the energies and transmute energies and god it was just so much fun like I really needed that <laughs> so I highly encourage you guys to do something that you used to do as a child that brought you joy joy here with the six of shells because it's a great time to just pause for a minute and just like get back to you and your inner kid and do things that you love to do as we had love in the reverse so listening, the conch shell is all about hearing. Are you hearing your intuition? And are you listening? Yeah, don't be in opposition of 
yourself because or your self celebration because ultimately what you're doing is when you're hindering your inner child from shining and from just like being goofy and having fun you're just hindering yourself that's all you're doing you're hindering your self celebration your inner child is that self celebration so it doesn't Surprised me that we got opposition with celebration in the reverse. So, yeah, just something to take note of. It's important and it's fun. Let's see what else we got. Indecision. Okay, so I feel like indecision is what's holding you guys back from certain love relationships. Okay, so when it comes to like partnerships and things, it's indecision that's holding you back. See what else we get. <laughs> and romance. Yeah. I feel like there was a sacrifice that either you, this could be twin flame, this could be just soulmate, this could be just a collective message. I'm just, you know. There could have been someone that ultimately felt like they were sacrificing themselves by putting themselves into this romance or uh, connection. So that's another message. They felt like they were sacrificing themselves or doing, I guess, more work than the other, which is not really an unconditional loving way to think of a relationship at all. But um, it is what it is, right? I feel like this is a love relationship. Let's see. Chance or change. Okay. So there, okay. I see what this is. There's a change trying to come in where it comes to love. Because we have like a bunch of love cards here. And we have like self-sacrifice and indecision and then change in the reverse. So this change of love wants to come in. It wants to come through, but someone is blocking it. And it could be both of you. Like it could be both of you blocking it because I feel like it's so weird. It's like you're trusting your intuition, but you're in opposition of the intuition with the indecision. Okay, let's see what else. What just flew out? work yeah it's gonna be a lot of work maybe the, it feels like too much work and that's what's causing like the indecision this could also be an indecision around work like around your job or career or what it is that you want to do trust your intuition your intuition knows perspective yeah gain the higher perspective and like, try to put yourself in the other person's shoes and see their perspective. You know, you can only do so much, but I'm sure uh, whoever's tuning in as empaths and things are able to do this as well. Perspective in the reverse. So someone's not seeing all perspectives when it comes to this. So that could be an aha moment for some of you guys and gals. Lots of messages coming out tonight. Perfectionism. Okay, so some of you are worried about being perfect all the time. And, or just, maybe just too much of a perfectionist to where this is keeping you from celebrating yourself. And what source and God is coming through really strongly right now saying like, you need to celebrate yourself. You need to celebrate yourselves, all of you, because you have been through so much. And you have continuously progressed forward and you sacrificed a lot, yes, but you've also gained a lot and you've done a lot and you need to celebrate yourselves. All of you. Great message. Great message. Let's see what else we get here. They said, have you been writing lists yet? Are you writing lists yet? Are you writing your list yet? Mm, okay. Success in the reverse and the motivator. Okay, so someone's like uh, holding themselves back from success. Ultimately, they're the only ones blocking themselves from success. Um, they're... It's like they feel like success has passed them by, but, but it has not. 
And this message is of motivation for you to keep going towards your success because it isn't over, it's just begun. Okay, so that was a very important message for some of you watching. Frustration around this. Maybe you're trying to find motivation, but your perspective is a little skewed. A skewed? You're having frustration around maybe just your current job or your current relationship. Okay, so let's see. What can we do about this frustration? Did you see that fly out? Passion. Remember your passions. Get back to your passions. When it comes to love, when it comes to what you love to do, when it comes to your work, what are you passionate about? Get back to your passions, okay? This will help with your frustration. Okay, so some of you could be moving, or this could just be like moving energies, getting creative, Having patience. I feel like a lot of you are like up in your head because we have patience, the analyst, and obsession or the reverse, followed by the ingenue and the upright. So I feel like there was a lot of like obsessive energies, um, impatience, and analyzing that was like maybe just getting over now. Um, and you're heading more into like the ingenue energy, which is like your ultimate creativity. Um, and getting back to your passions. But I feel like before, there was just a lot of like up in the head kind of muck and stuff that just needs to be cleared. I'm going to take my Lemurian crystal. I'm going to rub the records here. And this activates the crystal is what they're telling me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear our crown areas here. And this is just releasing that trapped energy, that round and round kind of energy that goes on in the mind. Okay. What other messages can I get? Are there any other messages in this deck? Pull from my deck, the Mystical Flames Oracle deck by me. I love this deck. And you guys know I'm working on a new one that's like the same, but more of my digital art will be on them. So if you want to see what my digital art looks like, you can go to my Instagram at kimberkiss 33 I have a lot of digital art up there and I still continue to make them because I love making them. I do a lot. I do. I, I dabble in a lot of things and I just love everything. I just, I want to do everything. <laughs> we have arrived for an important mission. All of y'all tuned in watching right now. We have all arrived for a very important mission. It isn't just me. It isn't just you. It isn't your next door neighbor, Bob. It's all of us. It's all of us. It isn't just one or the other, obviously. A lot more telepathic communication and like just knowing things. Uh, clairvoyance. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay, let's see. We have four cards. You've taught me to embrace my shadow and I'm growing because of it. Okay. We are part of the 144,000. I knew this card was gonna fly out. I've been seeing 144, 1144, left and right. Numerology's been coming through left and right. 37, 73, 43, 44, uh, 55, 10, 10, 12, 12, 22, 333, 222, 111, all those numbers, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> 
You guys get it. All those numbers, they've just been coming through. They've been coming in hot. We are part of the 144,000. And I just found out like something pretty cool that like coincides with the numeral numerology of the 144,000 that has to do with the third eye. Where all the lower chakras add up to 144 and twice the dose of the uh, of time ten, times 10 of the Third eye is what it says in like the ancient text, which means 144,000. So I'll insert that here if I can find it. It's just interesting. It's interesting. I think there's a lot to it. There's a lot of symbolism behind the 144,000, but we are all part of it and we are here to do a huge mission. I remember you from inner earth or and or the underworld. Very cool. Now let's see. Let's paint the world with our love. Let's do it. It's getting dark. Sorry, guys. Um, the sun's going down, but I wanted to do a collective reading tonight. I just had to. Do you want me to pull from the Enchanted Map? I love this stack by Colette Baron Reed. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. Metamorphosis. How accurate is this? I feel like we're all going through a metamorphosis, like a huge change. Oh, 25 adds to seven. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> yeah. Remain wide open. Allow anything, anything that wants to offer itself from the universe to be part of your gentle garden. Like gently garden your passions and allow them to flow through you. Just when you think you've hit rock bottom, that's just your beginning. Always. Message for someone. Ah, move into the unknown. <laughs> just flew out. I landed on the 25 and it's a number seven. So master number 77 and the number of Christ is 777. And we have Easter this weekend. So no surprise. Uh, we're moving into the unknown. We're moving out of this energy from the past of being scared to move into the unknown. And now we're fearless going into the unknown. Metamorphosis. Field of dreams with the number three. Moving into our field of dreams. Also, like, really making your dreams a reality. Not even in the sense of, like, the things you want to do, but, like, the actual visual dreams that you have. Is there something in that dream that you can bring into this earth that's beautiful? That you can make a reality of? Something, like, that's never been seen or done before? coming to life. Yeah, your dreams are starting to come to life. You're like pulling them out of the ethers and you're bringing them down, having bright ideas and bringing them down onto earth. I love that. Metamorphosis, remain wide open, garden your passions, go into, go fearlessly into the unknown. Start visual. Start taking note of the visualizations you receive within your dreams and start anchoring them here on the earth and making them a reality because your dreams are literally coming to life. Mermaid deck. Doreen Virtue. You're being helped with this. So it isn't all just you, you're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results already or yet. Helpful person. And there's a helpful person coming in as well. Someone wants to help you. 
Think of who that might be and initiate contact. Ooh, initiate contact. What does that sound like? You knew. <laughs> My Arcturian guide. No, like it is. It's, it's your beings of light. It's your guides. It's your higher dimensional forms of you. Initiate contact. Oh, they can come through. And they will. They're very loving. They're unconditionally loving. But you have free will. Initiate contact. You might be surprised. You might have more than one guide pop through. An ancestor, a family member, a Jesus, a God, an Arcturian guide. We have father healing in the reverse. So... Your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. Yeah, so still some father healing that needs to be done. If it's mother healing, take note of that. But here they're showing father healing and there's a blockage there. So make sure to work on that more. Okay. And focus on positive energy. Okay. Okay. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Very important right now. Very. Especially with these energies that have been going on like recently, I feel like to remain in your vibration, because your vibration is unique, right? But it's your own signature of positive vibration. And to remain within, it's like when your pH gets, gets off balance, like in your stomach and stuff. That's never a good thing. That's kind of like the same thing that can happen with negative people, energies, or like ties. So make sure to keep your energy pure by pretty much sticking to yourself and staying in your own frequency. Highly important right now. Let's see what else we get. Train going again. The sun's going down. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. I love that. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. Okay. I'm going to pull some starseed cards to complete the reading. Yeah, I guess uh, the train. <laughs> they really want me to pull these starseed cards. These are the ones by Rebecca Campbell, both the Work Your Light and Starseed Oracle. I combine the decks because they're like sisters. And <laughs> don't dim to fit in. Don't you freaking dim to fit in, people. <laughs> How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Do not do that. Do not do that. No, 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 no. Who's gonna sing to you during a tarot reading? I am. I don't dim to fit in. I sing what I want to sing. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Good moment. But don't dim. Don't be sorry. Don't dim to fit in. No. Do not dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Don't do that. Cut that out. You need to cut it. Okay. Anna, grandmother, father. Oh. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Perfect card to get right before Easter. We are the star seeds. We are seeding the light. We are following the divine plan that was laid out for us by Jesus. Okay? Wow, beautiful. Break the chain. You will never break the chain. If you don't love me now, you will never love me again. I can still hear them saying you will never break the chain. Such a good song. Sorry. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So you are here. I, oh, I got to turn the light on. Can you see me better? So I, I've been getting this message a lot lately 
about how a lot of us are here right now to literally break the chains, break the patterns, break the ways of not only society, but of our family, our ancestry, the patterns that had been going on for eons and eons. And we're like, we came in and we're like, fuck no, this isn't right. Let's get back to what's right. What the fuck? Like, you guys have really been doing it like this this whole time? What the fuck? <laughs> this ain't right. What the fuck? <laughs> well, you're breaking the chains. That's what you're doing. Ancestral patterns. You're healing. You're rewriting the whole freaking future. That's why we're here. We're obnoxious as hell. We're defiant as hell. We're deviant. We're not going to just go along with what we're told. Fuck that. We're going to write our own story. And we're going to follow that shit. Because that's what we came to do. Pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Look at this, this is you. All of you tuned in watching right now, this is you. Our vibrations are rising, we're the oracles. We're the ones that we've been waiting for. And big picture thinking, right? This is the divine plan, the big picture thinking. Pleiades energy, so the Pleiadians, I knew it, are working very, very closely with us right now. We are visionaries. And oh, if you watched my last few readings, actually the one that I just filmed today, it will be up sometime this week. It's like an hour and a half long. You know, I keep telling myself that I'm going to film these short readings, like 10, 20, 30 minutes long, you know, so I can have more available for you to watch during the week. And I get into a reading and like so much comes through. And an hour later, I'm looking at my phone like, are you fucking kidding me? It's been an hour already? What the fuck? It feels like it was just like 20 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. What, what the fuck? <laughs> but it's literally like that. It's like I'm filming and it's like, how the fuck has it been an hour and a half? Did I time travel just now? Am I time traveling? What the? I have lost time. Did I get freaking abducted? Did I get abducted? Because lost time. Like, I was having so much fun filming that an hour and a half went by like that. What the fuck? But seriously, that's what it's been like. Maybe we have been time traveling. I feel like I have. I feel like we all have. We've been doing some time traveling. It's been freaky. The time has been freaky. Time is freaky. It's all freaky. Okay. But the Pleiadians, they're working very closely with us. And the visionary message, God, I totally lost track of the whole freaking point of what I was saying. The visionary message came through that last reading and the reading before that one and the reading before that one. I think the last three readings that I found, Twin Flame. So we're all visionaries and we're seeing the bigger picture of why things had to happen the way that they did. And they're wanting you to act on these inspired ideas. And a lot of you are holding yourselves back. And my guides are not happy about it. Your guides are not happy about it. They're like, hello, you asked for your next step of ascension. And we came in and provided you every single step. And now you're, you're backing down on what you had wanted. Why are you doing this? a good question Pleiadians I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know I think it's societal programming and I think that's what holds a lot of us back but we're learning how to break out of that so know that you're not the only one going through this you are not the only one going through this but we are gonna take it on headstrong headstrong to take you on I take on anyone ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. headstrong Headstrong. Oh my god, I forgot about that song. It's such a good song. I forget who sings it, but it's such a good song. Back up, I'll take you on. Headstrong, I'll take on anyone. I know that you were wrong. Headstrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. My coffee actually has worn off too. So can you imagine what I'm like when you're just around me in normal day-to-day -day life when I've had some coffee? <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> they're asking you to act on these inspired ideas because they were inspired by 
you, you think you're higher guides, but ultimately those are you. So they were inspired by you, but now you're holding yourself back from them. Think about that. What a conundrum. That's a conundrum. <laughs> it's a paradox. It's a paradox here. But um, they're wanting you to act on these inspired ideas. Okay? So one at a time. They're getting upset with us because we've been like wanting to do it all. I know at least me personally, I've been wanting to do it all. Like every single idea that I have, I'm putting in the notes on my phone. I'm writing them down. I'm like, oh my God, I need to do this and I need to do that. And I have like 30 people waiting on collaborations with me. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And people are getting upset and frustrated. And I'm getting upset and frustrated with myself because I keep getting sick. I, it's probably because I keep stressing myself out about everything that I need to do that I want to do. And I just want to do like everything that I did in the higher dimension before I incarnated here but it's kind of impossible to do that on the 3d plane of lower density existence <sighs> so if you've been feeling those struggles that I just blurted out in like 5,000 words in like two seconds um, it's normal and what they want you to do is to integrate what you can and do what you can and take it in baby steps I wish they would have told me that <laughs> Okay, let's see. Oh, these two cards want to come out, I think. The Seas of Mintaka! My Mintaka song! If you've been feeling stressed out or having anxious anxieties like myself, you can listen to my song of Mintaka. It's really, really good. It's nice and calming and it's soothing and it's like, it's such a good song. And it just came to me like, was it two years ago? Maybe a year ago? It came to me after I had like sat in the sun. And it just flowed through. And I was like dancing while I was singing it. And I'm so glad I hit record when I did because I wouldn't have remembered it afterwards because I was zoned into the channel. Like, ah, oh, and it's such a beautiful song. It's like my favorite light language song ever besides like my Lemurian ones. But if you like that and you want like a more soothing, like even more soothing water, oceanic meditation to listen to i do have two lemurian meditations that are beautiful that are so soothing i listen to them all the time i have a twin flame one too that's really really good they're on my etsy page if you want to find those and if you're interested and you want to keep on off towards them hit me up on my email it's down below my instagram down below and i'd be happy to provide that for you but yes listen to that song i'll link it in the description box below so you can just like boop click the down arrow and see it and then you can click it and listen to it because it'll help with your anxieties but let's see what this card says shall we seeing potential that's all they wanted to do <laughs> they're like we just wanted to you to see your potential bringing unconsciousness to light okay clear waters you're not alone. <laughs> you are not alone in this. Isolation. Ah, we've been isolated. We've been isolated. Sometimes it's wonderful though. When you're a star seed, you understand. You just love your hermit moments. Sometimes a little too much. Um, physical connection. You need that physical connection, baby. That uh 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 bow chicka bow 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 chicka ooh. <laughs> with other people <laughs> that sounds so wrong but you know what I mean you need your you need your human connections right you need your human connections and can your community you need your community you need your soul tribe your soul fam you need that connection and we've still had that connection because we have that through the internet right at least we have that we're really lucky we at least have that I mean if they're gonna take that away from us then we may as well just freaking <laughs> I won't say it <laughs> All right. You got the love. You got the love. Yes, you got the love. This is Hadarian energy, and I don't know what the Hadarians are. I'm going to have to research what a Hadarian is. It sounds like a hairy Hungarian, and I'm Hungarian. <laughs> Except, like, people call me Hungrian, or I used to call myself Hungrian because I'm always hungry. <laughs> Ah, this is also codependency, codependency, codependency and boundaries. Boundaries has been like a huge thing these past two years. Like, I don't understand why people don't understand what boundaries are. 
I was born understanding boundaries, but then there's like people that are like so offended when you set boundaries. And I don't understand that because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not offended at all. I'm just like, that's cool. You need your space. Cool. It's like you say it to someone and they're like, ah! and it's like, <laughs> all right, work on that. <laughs> all right, let's see. Unbound. <laughs> This is funny. Our guides, my Arcturian guide, like myself in its highest form, is freaking, it's freaking hilarious. Unbound. Oh, releasing soul patterns. Ah. Contracts and past lives. I love this. We're releasing them. We're going into that release, darlings. That release. That's beautiful. I love that. If I look really tired, it's because I am, like I said, my coffee wore off and I was dancing like all day. <laughs> it was just, it was fun. I needed it. The Great Gathering. Ah, coming together, coming together. Our like body souls are all coming together. We're meeting in the middle. We're all coming together. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits, soul tribe. This is so congruent with what I just posted because I just posted a light language dance to help everyone to come into meeting their soul tribe. I love this. Yeah, we're all soul tribe actually. Did you know that? Did you know? Because we're all connected, we're all soul tribe. But it's like recognizing that and understanding it and receiving those two intuitive hits and helping other people out with the information that you have and your intuition and it's just, you gotta do it, yes. Just say yes, it's in the reverse. You guys aren't saying yes, you need to just say yes, just say yes, just say yes. When it comes to helping others. The crumbling, what are you clinging on to? I could name like 50 things that I'm still clinging on to, but it's all good because I'm aware of them and I've already started to change some of them. So this is asking you, what do you clean on to that you can let go of? Boundaries in the reverse. I cannot make this up. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Ah! <laughs> Too funny. The void, stop. Stop, winter is coming. Winter is coming. Now it says embrace the winter, but I'd rather embrace the summer right now in the spring because I want to go into spring and summer and I don't, I don't, I don't want to embrace the winter anymore. I've been through the winter. It's still cold outside. I don't want to deal with it. I just, I'm over the winter. I'm over it. I'm, oh, I cannot wait for spring and spring is coming. Okay. Great cosmic womb. So this is like our whole rebirthal. This is like you went through some stuff because you're rebirthing and stuff. That was like growing pains and like like turning into like a human. Do you remember being a soul before you were a human? Because I have really weird flashbacks of weird things. <laughs> do you guys remember anything like that? Because I do some stuff. Some stuff, of course, I don't, but some stuff I do. Yeah, great, great cosmic room. Take time to just, like, take all this in because it's a lot we're taking in right now. It's a lot. It's 38 minutes already. Holy freaking frick. 38.44 on my phone. If that resonates for someone, let's see. What is that? 38 is 11. 11.44, 144,000. <laughs> Again. Okay, sorry. Mirror. Who or what is triggering you? Am I triggering you right now? Am I triggering you? I trigger a lot of people. I have ever since I was born pretty much. I'm kind of used to it. But um, <laughs> ask yourself if someone else is triggering you and then just try to like find out the root cause for that. Usually if you just become aware of what that is, it really helps. Breath of the cosmos. So this is my will to thy will micromanaging the universe yeah let go of control and just go with the flow and follow your breath your breath always knows star bathing yeah get out in the stars i've been doing this actually a lot 
each night and it's been freezing i've had to put my coat on it's like really freaking cold and i can't even stand out there that long and i'm gonna stop complaining but this is what it's like when you live with me and it's cold outside but if you get outside and you stand in the stars and you just allow their frequencies to flow through you and you make the intention to connect there's so much beautiful stuff that comes through and just even looking at them is beautiful so why wouldn't you want to in any way get outside you're, you're going to grid to the, the crystalline centers of the earth and receive the transmissions and the activations. Okay? Star bathing. Baby steps. <laughs> Baby steps in the reverse. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. Okay, Sphere, I know I freaking hear you, okay? I hear you. I hear, okay, 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 okay. Spirit's been yelling at me. I already know. I already know. I already know. Do, 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 We already know. We already know. Okay. Ooh, the blue flame. Spontaneous awakening. Activation. Integration time. Yeah. So it's like, it's so funny because spirit, ah, La Maria is the last card. So spirit wants us to integrate and take time to pause, but at the same time still take action. <laughs> Isn't that great? What do you know? What great advice. Here, do this and don't do this. And then do this, but don't do this too. <laughs> no, but really, they, they want you to do it on your own pace. Take baby steps. Start taking actions on things, even if it's just one thing, before it even makes sense and just do it and trust your intuition and just do it. And if you need to neutralize some energies up here in the mind, use the violet flame, the blue flame. Uh, but you're receiving major activations. And it's that time where we're going to have to learn how to work through this stuff, folks. So start practicing now. Lemuria in the reverse. Creating heaven on earth, it's happening. Guys, stop doubting this. This is what's happening right now. This is what's happening right now. Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it is happening. It is happening. This is what we're doing. This is where we're going. This is where we're heading. We already know. Yeah, we already know. ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba 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 we already know we already know okay sorry but this is what we're doing we're creating heaven on earth and it's happening and all the rules are getting thrown out the window because we do not need them anymore I should have been on Broadway, I swear to freaking God. Actually, Broadway would have been like, holy frick, this girl. I thought I heard something. Should I pull a few more cards? Be creative and open. Your possibilities are endless. We had the two be open cards in two different decks. Be creative and open. Your possibilities are endless. Addiction can be cured with disassociation. I don't really know what this means. I think if you disassociate from the fact of like saying that you have an addiction, that in itself alchemizes the addiction from even occurring in the first place. That's what I'm going to go with. Because it sounded good in the head before I spoke it out loud. But we're just going to go with that. Yeah. I'm addicted to pizza. Let's see. No more games. No more effing around. No more games, guys. No more games. We got to get going on our missions with baby steps and in action sometimes. So that way we can integrate. Diving into a motion of unconditional love and acceptance is never a waste. Therefore, suppressed feelings can be repurposed for creation and growth. 
What a beautiful shadow work message. This deck is awesome. This is my friend Jamie's. She did a reading for me. I might insert it here so you can check her out and see how you like her vibe. I freaking love her. She is just amazing and Oksana is as well. Um, they both created this deck. She's Aquarian Light um, on YouTube and Oksana is Extra Sensory Empress. So um, Jamie and Oksana created the Human Essence Oracle. I might post her reading either here or after this reading so you guys can check her out because she just, I just love that girl. I just love her. But they made this beautiful deck and the messages are just amazing. And how else would you like to use your shadow work? Would you like to use it in a very awful, painful way to where you never want to use it? Or do you want to use it as a motivator and a oomph towards what it is that you actually want? Right? Diving into a motion of unconditional love and acceptance is never a waste. Therefore, suppressed feelings can be repurposed for creation and for growth. Use them as your motivators. Motivation, get on the motivation train. Let's see. Deep inside. <laughs> Sounds dirty. Deep inside, but they're asking you to go deep within and get grounded. And know that you're infinite and trust yourself. If it comes to addictions, look deep inside and find out why that's there, and you'll find your answer. And from there, it'll just automatically be transmuted. Lessons acquired are always rewarded. Yes, no more games. Lessons acquired are always rewarded. Mm. Learn your lessons. Number two. You can't keep rebuilding the home to feel happy if there is no love in it. And I feel like not only could this be your environment, but this could also be your inner environment as well. So if you're not happy in yourself, you need to work on that so that way you can be happy. And if you're not happy in your environment, you need to change some things so that way you can make your life happy. Okay, let's see. Do we have any more messages in this deck for the collective? Yes, we do. Holding on to an old paradigm, such as finding happiness in misery, is an illusion and will accelerate aging. Okay, so you don't have to hold on to the paradigm of suffering. You can move beyond that. You can't find happiness in misery. Okay, and if you think you can, that's an illusion. And it'll only like accelerate more problems for you. Any other messages for the collective? Oh, transmitter. It landed on my, almost my foot, but it was my ankle. Third eye transmitter. Yeah, you're transmitting right now, like infinite consciousness through your third eyes. Don't be surprised if you trigger people. Your transmitters, your activators, it happens. You shine the light on their darkness and they're like, can't handle it. <laughs> Secret club. Yeah, the secret's out. I feel like a lot of you are finding out the secrets of the universe and transmitting them out into the world, to the universe. You know, like things that have been hidden that weren't always recognized or known, like you're like, aha, I see you there, and I'm gonna share this wisdom, because I know it'll help. You are a combination of many lifetimes. We have Learn to go with the flow without resisting ups and downs. So trusting those peaks, those highs, those lows, just go with the flows. Strange dynamic and dysfunction when it comes to love. But patience is the key. The universe knows when you are ready. 
I see like some of you leaving relationships and going towards like relationships with yourselves or new ones. And it's actually pretty exciting. Yeah, a whole heart can never be lonely. I love that. Let's see. Any other messages? No. That's the end of the reading. They're letting me stop the reading at 50 minutes. Wow. 10 minutes short of an hour. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I was able to entertain you. Did I? Was I? If you like this reading, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Definitely consider subscribing. Thank you for all the new subscribers. We have so much fun here. Magic just naturally happens here. It's always fun. It's always different. It's always magical. <laughs> and I love each and every single one of you so incredibly much. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.